my family and I moved into this house two weeks before Hurricane Matthew hit. We were quite shocked. <laughs> we weren't home, fortunately, I guess, that we weren't home. And it took us a couple days to be able to even get close enough to see the situation with our house. And when we did, we discovered that two and a half feet of water had poured into our house. Everything was downstairs because we wanted to paint upstairs. <laughs> so we left everything downstairs and we lost everything that we owned. Shannon was actually one of the first people that came to our house to check on us to see how we were doing, to see if we needed anything. And I was very impressed that anybody from the city had even taken the time to come directly to my house. And it wasn't just a one-time thing. She stayed in constant contact with me. She was constantly checking on me, constantly making sure we were okay, asking if we needed anything. We went to um, a meeting that the city had and Shannon was there and she came and sat with us and was checking on us. And to this very day, she's still checking up on us. When the last storm, Dorian, came through, Shannon started contacting me the day before, asking me if I was okay, asking me if I needed anything. And all through the storm, she was on the phone with me and texting me and talking to me and just kind of comforting me because, well, it's not just losing everything and it's not just the flooding, but you experience trauma. And Shannon stayed on the phone with me and texted me and was in constant contact with me all through before Dorian hit and all through the day that Dorian was here, she was in constant contact with me and I was pretty impressed with that. Shannon has a lot of compassion for people. Shannon really cares about people. And I believe that our government needs more people like Shannon.